Hi, my name is Maria. And I'm Alex. And welcome back to Bulldog Bias. Or well, Bulldogs, in our opinion. <laughs> low budget front bar. That's it, very low budget front bar. Yes. <laughs> uh, so today we decided to do the three generations of Darcy in separate videos. So we're going to start off with David Darcy. Oh, yes. Um, which is hard to find because he played in the 60s. Yes, it's not, you can't... There's not going to be a lot of internet content on it, I think. No, unfortunately so, not, yeah. I don't think there was even internet back then. N no, not in the 60s, no. I, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. think so. It's, it's, uh, it'll be a short video. Yeah, it will, but uh, he's an informative one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what have you got on him? Okay, so we have... So he was, bo he was born on the 11th of August, 1943. Okay. Died 1st of August 2020. Oh, yeah, that's right, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, in fact, yeah, I remember the, the, yeah, Luke Darcy you know, talking about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah it's a bit upsetting, but could have at least had his birthday. Sorry. You're sort of laughing about the Maria. Yeah. <laughs> could have at least, I laugh about my grandfather's yeah, fair enough. death. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, multiples. Yeah. Well, so what are the stats anyway. on him? Anyway, so, uh, so he is foot scurry recruit from Sunshine YCW and used him initially as half forward, okay, mm -hmm. where he was serviceable but hardly outstanding. Fair enough. <laughs> At the end of Darcy's debut season in 1963. 60, I was one year old then, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Long time ago. Bulldogs coach Ted Wooten tried him as a defender during the VFL night series and his performance levels lift noticeably. Okay, so a defender. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> so, yeah. After that, he never looked back and became one of the most uh, reliable and consistent key position backmen in the league. Okay. So, the opposite of what they're doing with JJ. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try to turn him into a forward, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, in, in 1967, Darcy had to relocate temporarily to South Australia for business reasons because I guess back then they had to work as well. That's right. Work was the number one thing, yeah. Yeah, but the, yeah, it's like most athletes actually still go through this. Yes. Not all sports are high pain. No, true, true. <laughs> um, so. I identify with that pain. Anyway, and he spent uh, the year playing for South Adelaide where his form was outstanding and he was regarded as uh, unfortunate not to make the state team. There you go. It's pretty unlucky. Uh, resuming with Footscray in 1968, Darcy carried on playing for another four seasons, taking his final career tally to 133 BFL games. Oh, bad. So when they say state games, um, is that, that for South Australia? I'm assuming yes. Well, anyone that wasn't cross-eyed and banging your leg, you could get a game in the South Australian first. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Back he, then. Okay. <laughs> he, he also represented the VFL uh, in four interstate matches in 1965. Yeah, I didn't see... Oh, I was only three. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? Okay. <laughs> Uh, in 1972, Darcy was enhanced back into South Australia as captain coach. It's a very rough title to be captain. <laughs> yes, hard work. Yes. I can't. I can't imagine. Uh, he spent two seasons in the role, uh, steering the consistent, the consistently underachieving Panthers to consecutive ninth place finishes, and taking his personal South Australian SA NFL uh, game tally to forty four. <clears throat> English. Yeah, that's true. English is <laughs> number yeah. Uh, in 11 seasons of league football, uh, David Darcy never once participated in a final series. <laughs> that is rough. That's a bit rough, yes. That's a bit rough, my dude. That, okay. Uh, <laughs> not, just Imagine just not winning a premiership, but just not being in the final series. Yeah, that wouldn't be much fun. That's, that's just not great. Uh, he remained uh, at South as an on-playing coach in 1974 and the team managed uh, improvement, uh, winning seven of his 22 matches to finish eighth, but it was not enough to, to persuade the club committee to return his services and he was replaced by Hayden 
Burton Jr. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, Sh- very shit happens. Unlucky. Very unlucky. Quite, it mm. seems like just very unlucky life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. when we're talking about Luke, they ask you there's plenty of highlights. Oh, we'll talk about that next week. Next week, yeah. And then we'll get to uh, Sam Darcy. Yes, yes. The week after. And then AFLW will be coming. Okay, that's true. And Maria can't go to any games because she's working. I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll make sure to go to Pride Round. Pride Round, okay. I have to go to Pride Round. There's actually a game on my birthday on the 5th of Feb, but I'll be in Sydney, be Sydney watching uh, the uh, the women's actions. Well, that's it, yes. I didn't know what's going to happen. Anyway, so obviously when he died, the Bulldogs put out a remembering David Darcy. Mm-hmm. Anyway, any quick intermission. Mm-hmm. Okay, on the 11th of December, Saturday. Uh, is the AFRW Intro Club match at 11.30 a.m. On the 11th of December. This Saturday. This Saturday. Okay. I won't be going. No, I won't be going either, unfortunately. Because I'll be with my... Well, um, we have squash in the morning and then my friend's leaving on the 20th to go to England. So That's right. Seeing her. So yeah, it's a little bit more important right now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to David Darcy. David Darcy. Okay. Yes. Uh, so this is this comes into memory David Darcy from the Western Bulldogs uh, site. Mm. Uh so this is more than a year before he played his first game of football for the Bulldogs. He was making uh news on the cricket field, as of age. At the age of 7, 14, 1961, reporting that Darcy had taken 636 for sub district team Sunshine, having early May 21 with the bat. Not bad, impressive. not the bad of it, yeah, yeah. Impressive. 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 Uh, obviously, you know, footballer with Sunshine, YCW, as you just read before. Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to go through the same information twice. <laughs> no, no, <point. laughs> no, no. The dogs went down to North Melbourne that day. But the, hold on, sorry, I must have missed something. Okay, he made his senior debut in the opening round of the 1963 season. 63, yes. Named at centre-half The Bulldogs went down to North Melbourne that day. We don't like North Melbourne. Um, But the following week, they recorded a big win over Fitzroy with the 19-year-old Darcy kicking a game high of three goals. Impressive. It's great. It's Oh, impressive. Like, impressive player, but just bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, from there, he became a permanent team member, giving the Bulldogs a good uh, service in the forward line. As good as been in the forward line, Darcy really blossomed. When captain slash coach Ted Witten switched to him to fullback, was that how it was back then? It was more positional. Yeah, you played on your man, yeah? Not no, like... no, no, like captain coach. Oh, there's not that. There haven't been that many captain coaches. There's been a few, but not many. Because I, I feel like that wouldn't fly today. <laughs> well, I think the last captain coach, don't quote me, was I think 79, Alex Jezelenko for Carlton. And I don't think there's been one since. I feel like that wouldn't fly now. That would be like, this she crazy? <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be hard. It'd be you know. really hard. You, there's so much responsibility, especially with media responsibility nowadays. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a lot of work. I couldn't imagine yeah. doing it in today's day. The only black I could see doing it is the bond. <laughs> We're not doing that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't let them see this. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> anyway, he took... Okay, let's go back to David Tarsi. Okay, he took to the key defence first, like a duck to water. Great analogy. Yeah. To uh, 1960, Bradley Manners John Schultz, a teammate of Darcy, first five seasons. Described the defender as very relaxed, almost, how do you call it? Like a dicycle. Like a dicycle. Like a dicycle. That, I haven't seen that. Oh, like a dicycle. Like a dicycle? Yeah. Like a dicycle. Like okay, what's, hold on, what of the day? This is how my brain works. I also discovered why. I, the, probably the reason why I like Collingwood. Do you want to know the reason? Why? Because I like tattoos. Mm. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, like a daysicle, a lacking enthusiasm, and 
determination, <laughs> carelessly lazy. Less. <laughs> Laconically lazy. <laughs> okay, so it was almost lackadaisical in his approach to the full time back off. I'm going to use that word from now on. <laughs> oh, <get> on <laughs> Welcome to Show Two Swords, Darcy. I close quarters often. But Often when resting in the back pocket, marveled at his ability to read the play. He would stand, this is a quote, he would stand 10 or 15 yards in front of full fold, whereas most defenders in those days likely uh, would have touched with their opponent. That's true. You know, it's a different game nowadays. Uh, Darcy's strength didn't lie simply in stopping big forwards, uh, says Schultz. He was very skillful and he had a beautiful drop kick. When he when he kicked out, I would place myself at half back and run towards the boundary line. Could you please explain this to me deeply? Well, it's Schultz he would go there. Yeah. He'd be expecting the kick to go there. That's yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. David's kick would arrive at the designated spots the very, the very moment I did. So. Obviously, so many rule changes. Oh, there's been a lot of rule changes, <laughs> yes, yes. Well, we'll see what next year rule changes are. Okay. The two stay fo- the two played the two played state football for Victoria together, but apparently couldn't get one of South Australia. How does that even work? <laughs> I, t- I told you, it wasn't uh, cross-eyed and bandy, bandy legged. I don't understand. Okay, uh, Luke. <laughs> okay. Okay, asked about son Luke Darcy's recent revelations of his father getting his hair shampooed at half time. <laughs> How does this even happen? Bruh. Anyway, Schultz said, well, I can't confirm if shampoo was involved, but Al Jackson, one of the club volunteers, would spray our hair with water when we came in at half time. It helped to refresh us. That's fair. Mm. Nice. And so, like, now we have ice towels, so <laughs> we've moved mm. half the technology. <laughs> And sports science and sports medicine and <laughs> sports nutrition. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just saw this stuff next to me, Schultz. Mm-hmm. He, he was the first Footscray player to uh, to touch the Premiership Cup. Nice. He gave it to uh, one ex Footscray player because Bevo played for Footscray. And then the current yeah. captain, so there were all the doggies all across all three players. Nice, there. nice. I see. Yeah. So as a football, David Darcy is a very good golfer. I feel like a lot of athletes are, though. Diabol coordination, yeah. Uh, and as a cute business fan, said Schultz, it was business that took Darcy to South Australia in 1967, and then again in 1972. Uh, so, which is why he switched from South Australia to... Of course. That's great. Darcy played 133 games and kicked 47 goals. What's great? He's a defender. You kind of expect that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, from 1963 to 1966, and from 1980, from 1968 to 1971, Darcy played 44 games for South Australia, and he got the boots in 1973. So how old were you? 73. I was 11. Wow. Okay. Uh. Yeah, you probably... How, when did you really get into football? Um, like, really die-hard follow? Probably about 74. Just a year late. Yeah, so he was... Yeah, seven, yeah 74. I mean, I remember Richmond won the grand final that year. Nice. Mm. I have... So, so, I have, I have, so, you're like, your dad... Like Fort Richmond, obviously. He did, yeah. So, like... Yeah, he was happy. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's about it. But no, <laughs> I, I remember bits and pieces yeah, yeah. Uh, before then. But yeah, 74. I feel like, yeah, for me, it was when I was in high school. I kind mm. of really got into my sports. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, 75. I, yeah, from then on, I remember, yeah. We ended up on the bottom most years. Or near the bottom. <laughs> uh, that's a different story nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Two grand finals in six years, amazing. <clears throat> Never would have seen it. <laughs> Never would have guessed. I, I don't, like, especially from 2014 to 2016. That was a big change. It was a big change. Was. So the Darcy uh, legacy at Winter Oval has further enhanced with McDarcy and now Sam we, Darcy. We hope with Sam Darcy, yes. I mean, well, he's part of the team. Well, I mean, Luke... Um, 
he, look, we'll talk about him next week. Games. I mean, he uh, and I and I saw most of those. And they, uh, yeah. I saw most of those. So the thing is, you know, he was a uh, loved him. He was a great footballer. We're not going to talk about Luke Darcy too much because this is the David Darcy show this week. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess that that's it from the uh, low budget front bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very low budget front bar. Uh, uh, thank you for watching. If you like it, give a thumbs up, comment down below. I know. If you go for it, yes. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Just anything. All, Just all 12 anything. of you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure it's not you just re-watching it? No, I'm positive, yes. <laughs> uh, I don't watch it because I edit it. I don't want to watch it again. That's fair call. Cool, fair cool. <laughs> all right, guys. Will you look after yourselves? It's goodbye for me. And let's hope next year isn't riddled with COVID. Oh, man. Unless we want to see some games like this year. Oh my god. I know. It should have been a warning we were going to play Melbourne, you know why? Because every time we played Melbourne, we're into lockdown. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> my question what is next for YouTube? Renegade Bias? Renegade Bias. Oh, this is just strictly Bulldog Bias. That's right, yes. Yes. Unless you want to rebrand to Sport Bias. No, that's right. <laughs> so it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from her. See you next week with See you next week. Luke Darcy. Alright. Bye. Too many Darcy's. Mm. Bye. 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 Stop it! <laughs>